And the call seven investigators with breaking news about Jonathan Sanowski, the man now behind bars who Aurora police say grabbed an eight year old girl from her bedroom window. Now we're uncovering a history of sexual misconduct kept under wraps until now. Call seven investigator Teresa Marchetta breaking this story on our seven news mobile app tonight. And Teresa, you've learned Sanowski was labeled a sex offender. Long before he was accused of kidnapping an eight year old girl, John Sanowski committed crimes that earned him sex offender status. But because those crimes occurred in prison, the only people warned about it are Department of Corrections employees. Years before parolee John Snowski was charged with pulling a little girl through her bedroom window in the middle of the night, the 26-year-old was committing sex offenses in prison. According to documents obtained by the Call 7 investigators, Snowski's formal disciplinary history within the Department of Corrections started back in September of 2007. In each case, he had a hearing and was convicted under the Colorado Penal Code of Discipline, or COPD, not in a court of law. He was convicted of sexual harassment for masturbating in the presence of an officer at the Kit Carson Correctional Center. Four months later, at the Lyman Correctional Facility, Sanowski is convicted of sexual harassment again for masturbating. In April of 2009, now at the Colorado State Penitentiary in Canyon City, another sexual harassment conviction for exposing himself, then making a sexual gesture to an officer. And then just four months after that, a fourth sexual harassment conviction for sending a note with sexual remarks. Because these were not criminal convictions, the consequences for the offender are only reflected within the prison system itself. We found John Snowski is identified within the DOC as a sex offender or SXO. Here it is in black and white. But the only place you'll see it is on CWISE, the internal offender tracking system used by the Colorado Department of Corrections. Further confirming his sex offender status, this group email we've obtained sent to paroled sex offenders the morning of Sanowski's arrest, reminding him that he is prohibited from participating in Halloween activities, including decorating his home or keeping his porch light on to entice children. So Sanowski is a sex offender in the eyes of the DOC. But they maintain the public did not need to be warned. In response to my questions, Roger Hudson, a spokesman for the DOC, insists all offenders are evaluated upon entering the CDOC and assigned a sex offender risk level as an assessment tool. Yet my sources confirm only parolee sex offenders are identified in the system with that designation, like this. Sanowski says unhooked sex offender. Hudson also says Sanowski's infractions did not meet the standard to pursue criminal charges. My sources say that's because his offenses in prison involved DOC employees. With or without the filing of criminal charges, the DOC still had the discretion to require a higher level of supervision, but chose not to. I'm Call 7 Investigator Teresa Marchetta.